Hello kids in the last chapter chapter number 2 we discussed the various uses of plants why plants are useful to us now in this chapter chapter number 3 we are going to discuss the uses of animals why animals are useful to us where we use them so one by one we discuss the various uses of animals so this is your chapter number 3 useful animals animals are useful to us in many ways that's why we domesticate them domesticate means we kept them as a pet and we rear them rear means we take care of them why because they are very useful to us that's why we kept them as pet and also we take care of them so one by one in detail we discuss how animals are useful to us so here the first point is dairy products and poultry products so goats cows and buffaloes they are reared on the farms for the milk so rearing animals that gives milk and milk product is called dairy farming animals that give milk or milk products is called dairy farming for example cows goats buffaloes now if i ask you name some dairy products then you can give me the examples like butter cheese curd now why they are called dairy products because we get them from the milk we get these products from the milk and these products are called dairy products now the dairy products they are rich in proteins and proteins help in the growth and development of children so that's why the milk and the dairy products are very very useful for the children specially which help them in their growth and development then this is the dairy products then comes poultry so when we rear birds for their eggs and meat this is called poultry farming when we rear birds for eggs and meat this is called poultry farming for example hens ducks turkeys they are reared for eggs and meat so when the animals are reared for milk and milk products they are called dairy farming when birds are reared for eggs and meat it is called poultry farming so this is the basic difference between the dairy farming and poultry farming so all these things whether it's a dairy product thing okay we get from the animals and birds now the next importance of animal is wool animals such as sheep yak they are reared for wool as i told you the term reared means to take care okay to take care of the animals because they are very useful to us so we must take care animals and we should also raise them for any particular purpose so animals such as sheep and yak they are reared for wool we get wool from sheep and yak now what is shearing so shearing is the process of removing the hairs from the bodies of animals such as sheep and yak it is known as shearing if i ask you what is shearing so shearing means removing the hairs from the bodies of animals okay like sheep and yak this is called shearing now you feel that after removing the hairs can the hairs come back on their bodies so the answer is yes after removing their hairs the sheep and the yak they get their hairs back okay then which country is the largest exporter of wool exporter means the country that exports the thing sells the thing to the other countries so Australia is the country which is the largest exporter of wool who 
exports exports means send the wool to different parts of the countries who trade with the other countries okay so australia is the largest exporter of wool i uh, cannot tell me which animal is found in cold snow covered areas right the answer is yak yak is found in the cold snow covered areas and yak is also reared for wool so the thick hair of these animals it is sheared once every year and then it is processed into the woolen yarn basically woolen yarn means thread so we prepare thread thread with the thick hairs of these animals like sheep and yak and from this thread or woolen yarn we make sweaters shawls blankets and woolen clothes you all wear woolen clothes these woolen clothes are made from the woolen yarn and woolen yarn means the thread okay the thread that we get from these animals after shearing so here we discuss the wool part how sheep and yak helps to get wool and provide us wool for trading and for using in making different things then the next importance of animal is silk i have made a flow chart here how the silk is produced from the silk worm we all know we get from we get silk from silk worm okay now silk worm are the caterpillars they are not worms basically their name is silk worm but they are like caterpillars they are not worms okay and silk worms eat only the leaves of the mulberry leaves silk worm eat only mulberry leaves mulberry is a plant the leaves of that plant is eaten by silk worm now silk worm feed on the mulberry leaves and grow over it after eating the leaves it grows then silk worm spin a shell which is made of silk thread around themselves which is known as cocoon so the silk worm they spin a shell around themselves which is called as cocoon okay now we obtain the silk thread from the cocoon from the cocoon we get the silk thread and then from the silk thread we make silk products okay so this is a basically process how we obtain silk products from the silk worm so first of all the silk worm feed on the mulberry leaves then they form shell like structure around themselves known as cocoon from the cocoon silk thread is prepared and from silk thread we make silk products so in this way the silk worm helps in obtaining silk okay so here we discussed about the silk then comes other products what other products we get from the animals so the skin of animals like buffaloes cows camels and sheep is used to produce leather but in some countries leather is also made from the skin of snakes and crocodiles where we use leather yes the leather is used to make shoes bags belts wallets jackets suitcase so we use leather in all these things like shoes bags belts wallets jackets and we get leather from the skin of animals like buffaloes cows camels sheep okay next point fur fur is obtained from the hair of animals from where do we get fur so fur is obtained from the hair of animals such as rabbits foxes squirrels and it is used in very cold countries to make coats caps shawls we use fur to make coats caps and shawls and it is obtained from the hair of animals like rabbits foxes squirrels so see how the different parts of the animals are useful to us 
skin we have done we discussed about the fur now the next comes horn so horns of some animals they are used to make ornaments comb knives even many decorative items horns are used to make ornaments combs knives and even many decorative items we made from horns one thing i would like to discuss with you that the squirrels hair it was earlier used to make the hair brushes and paint brushes the hair and the paint brushes are made from the squirrels hair but now it is not permitted by law okay so horns we discussed then comes ivory now basically ivory is a thing which is used to make elephant tusk basically we derive ivory from the elephant tusk elephant tusk means the teeth of the elephants they are so large and long so ivory basically elephant tusk tusk means the teeth so ivory is a highly valued product it's it is very valuable product okay and it is obtained from the elephant tusk so to put an end to the large scale killing of elephants because now every because it is a very highly valuable product so everybody wants to earn money okay with the help of this ivory so people started killing or hunting the elephant on large scale so to put end to the large scale killing of elephants for their tusk the government have banned ivory trade now the government has banned ivory trade it is not allowed to trade of ivory then the fifth one is the animal dung now animal dung is used to make manure manure are the things which is obtained from the natural products okay farmers use this manure to improve the fertility of soil so basically manure is animal dung which is added to the soil to make the plants grow better when we add manure to the soil it helps the plant to grow better in the same way as we as we need vitamins minerals fats carbohydrates proteins to grow better in the same way plants need manure to grow better so farmers add manure to improve the fertility of soil and increase the crop production and also increase the crop production and of course the manure we get from the animal dung biogas biogas basically is a important fuel which is produced from the cow dung biogas is obtained from the cow dung and it is used as a fuel so these are the products that we get from the animals so see how animals are so useful to us that's why we hunt them for our greed we must take care of them the government has taken many steps to save them from hunting so in the next class we will discuss the other uses of animals that's all for today thank you